Now we're gonna take a little pause in the middle of this story because I want for you to go back and to read Genesis chapter 37 and then Genesis chapter 39. And then we'll catch up moving forward at this point. But I want you to read each of those chapters because I want you to take the time to say, how would I react if I were Joseph? What would I have done if I were Reuben? How would I be feeling if I was Jacob? And try to put yourself in the shoes or the sandals this time of each one of the characters. Because at the end of these two chapters, what we find is that it says that the Lord was with Joseph in every single thing that he did. And he brought him success in whatever it is that he did. And yet he is in prison and none of us would consider that a great career path or a successful time. None of us would want to be there. And yet sometimes we feel that we are there. You're in the midst of a prison right now. You're in a cell that is holding you down. It could be anxiety, it could be depression. It could be what is the next step? It could be doubt, it could be looking backward. It could be the ability you can't even look forward. You may be in that well and you just can't look up and see anything but the situation that you're in. If you're a believer, know this, that the Lord is with you. And when you can take it to Him and allow Him to pull you out of that well, to take you away from whatever it is that you struggle with, that He is giving you success in all that you do because you're recognizing your Heavenly Father. Would you think about that? Pray about it tonight, and we'll pick up the story again tomorrow.